am happy to know that in Chicago you are going to have a yoga conference in a few months' time. Also, I am happy to note that you are showing a film on my life. I hope this film will attract the viewers to take to yoga seriously and at the same time they take the message to their friends and relatives and bring them to take to yoga practices. Secondly, I am also indeed like to note that the main speaker is a person who had a lot of problems in his early life, who met problems in his accident. And with this, with these physical and psychological problems, he could face and master yoga and became an anger yoga teacher teaching in California. So this is great and I open up to those who hear him, a man who had to depend, depend throughout his life, has stood on his own legs and now speaks and writes on the yogic science and philosophy. I wish this conference a great success. I am still a practitioner and I am, though the film, what you are showing, is the past one, but one do not know what I am at the present state. My present practice is so deep, which cannot be felt or which cannot be seen by any of us except myself only. And the only thing is that we practice yoga as seekers and one has to develop the art of seeing directly so that to become, yes, become a seer and practice, not as a seeker of practice, but as a seer in practice. I hope this film will guide all of you to become, your, become a seer directly to observe your own faults, your mistakes and correct, and reach the state of emancipation joy. Association of the United States and the Iyengar Yoga Association of the Midwest, I would like to welcome you all. My name is Lori Blakeney, and I represent a lot of people tonight who have brought me this conference. This is really exciting. Um, we have tried to offer this weekend a weekend that will inspire you on many levels. We've tried to include as many different types of people as we could. We've invited people from everywhere. All kinds of practitioners, different methods. We're bringing groups of teenagers in for some free classes this weekend. We have tried really hard to be inclusive and warm and friendly. And we hope that you feel that from us to you, from the heartland. We want to Peak your imagination as much as teach you any new technical details. We want to share with you <clears throat> art and music and community. And maybe we won't always be seekers, but I think we are seekers. And so on that note, we're very pleased to welcome our keynote speaker, Matthew Sanford, author and teacher of Iyengar Yoga. And He's going to speak for himself. Um, I owe an enormous debt of gratitude. It's going to be 
a little emotional for me because uh, I owe so much to this lineage. Um, it's transformed my life. I come here tonight to offer you a story more than anything else about the transformative potential that's embodied in our lineage. It's an amazing honor to be here. I can put it on my neck. Here. I just want to make sure I give it to you. So now there's music, and one of the best things that I love about yoga is I can now know what it feels like to open, so you can actually let in beauty. You know, like your yoga practice lets you let in, right? Music is a great thing to let in, right? Your yoga practice helps you see beauty too, in a big way. Thank you, Matthew. We are gonna have a four, Bob tells me, four to six minute break. But honestly, you do not want to go away because what's left is a lot of yoga with no words. So we've had an amazing speech and talk about consciousness in a way that maybe some of us haven't considered. And now we're going to see some movement and hear some sounds without words. So please, um, four minutes maybe, if you want to move around a little bit. But we've got to make some switches for you. 